Hello, welcome to HNJ Titan Internship. And this is an explainer video on some tips and tricks and things that are required of you. Um, and also what how you can navigate because most people do have you know issues with navigating, especially if this is your first time, you've not used Slack. So I'll be breaking down everything or almost everything you need. So the first thing you need to know is your profile updating your profile so that it can meet up to the requirements so what is required of you here is your profile information that is your genuine profile information i'll show you how to get this in, this kind of info now when you come to the slack channel the first thing the first channel you have access to is most likely this announcement or introduce yourself either of these two so when you come here um you have some information on this left fan you can see your home your dm your activity files and later on the dms that is where you can you know chat with people privately you can hover on someone if you are mobile you click on them then you send a message then on the activity that's where you see things like announcements you know notification someone mention you uh you, there, there, there are activities going on in you know a channel you belong to you see that then then later one of the most interesting feature of slack i love using is the later uh when you see a message say like this person is greeting i can save it you click on save for later that way i can go back to view it so in case you have information you don't want to miss out on or you just want to save it there for some you know for some record or maybe you want to go back to it then you just have to save it you can save as many things as you like right so after i've done that so when you join this channel there are messages here you can see the messages on mobile it's going to be a little bit different but you can still view that then once you see the messages you'll see pins right once you click on the pin then on this pin section, you will see a lot of messages. In each of the channel you belong to, you can access pin. Just check if there's a pin, then you click on it. Check if there's a pin. If there are no pin, then you know there's no pin message. But once there are pin, you would see it there. So let's go to the start. So you can see, once you introduce yourself, you have to join your preferred track. If you're a front end, if you're a back end, DevOps, you know, virtual assistant, just click on the track like uh, you can see I click on here and I've joined this channel what it would look like if you've not joined let me show you what it would look like track DevOps so you can see this join then you click on that to join um, then let's proceed to the setting of profile so when you are setting your profile there are some guidelines you have to use your unique name for your username you can't use Messi Messi is generic Every, anybody can be a Messi you cannot use John. So you have to use something like maybe John Cena 001 or OBO. You understand OBO there's or something. Just it needs to be unique. The reason for this is during you know when someone wants to look for you or when they need to do anything like maybe promotion for, or moving from one directory to another. So they don't make mistake and award your reward to someone else because you have the same name so um also for every stage because you have uh, stages you have stage zero one two as you progress as you perform tasks you, you upgrade so for every stage you have to update your icon now there are people with special icons like your mentors some have stars some have different icons but intents are only allowed to use this zero to whatever stage it will end probably 10 or so now I would update my profile so you see how I am going about it. Already I have a profile picture and I have a few things set up. So, um, but I'll just show you how to do that. So here you update your profile picture. Then you update your full name. You can see my full name, Joseph Chimeze. Then your display name. Then you update your title. What track are you in? Is it backend? Is it frontend? Is it DevOps and the rest? You update it. Once you are done, you save. That is first step completed. 
then we need to move to the second which is the status very important also the status is where you have your stage your current stage as you can see i search for zero remember you, you starting from stage zero i search for zero then you put back in there or whatever track you are in back end or front end you understand it's very important so that a colleague or your teammates will know what you are in so for now keep it at back end then very important select don't clear don't select 30 minutes otherwise after 30 minutes this will be out and it can lead to you be deactivated so select don't clear and save good you are finally onboarded you are now onboarded so you can see the above is very important so once you are done then you go and introduce yourself note if you have any issue like maybe you're trying to do it it's not working or something just reach out to your colleagues first reach out to your colleagues look for people that have done it because you would most likely get answer faster from them and it's also a way to you know foster collaboration and also make friends right so reach out to them they'll help you and then you're yeah, good to go uh, a, a fastest way or the best way to survive here is by making friends because at some point you'll be needing them you make a lot of friends connect with people upskill right don't just come for the hng the, the, the main thing in hng is the connection you build right is a connection you build so connect don't be shy to connect don't feel too proud or don't feel too less of yourself connect 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 make genuine relationship and also help as people are helping you also help other people right don't uh, please don't you know look down on someone right help others it's gonna be a really fun experience so i wish you good luck if you have any question you can always reach out to me you can always reach out to your colleagues and every other person on the slack channel see you on the inside